Hello guys, remember me? I'm Orbiter Yoash Engineer, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program, Kerbal Quest Part 3. And if you remember in the last episode, or the last part, or whatever you called it, <laughs> well, we had sent Kerbals to Jewel to investigate what it was like and if Kerbals could survive there and stuff like that. Ooh, the thermometer's still working, even though we haven't got power there. And we also set up our first Jewel Day Station, which I will show you in a moment. And now we have to get modules there to, to our Jewel Station. So let's have to take a quick look. This is our Jewel Station as it stands. Very basic, all unmanned, uncurled. Let's remedy that and start sending things to Jewel Space Station. So here we are. The first, no, 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 that's Game Gear. I'm getting ahead of myself. This is actually the first of the spaceship that I'm gonna build to go to Jewel. I think I call it Jewel Space One. Yes, that's what I was gonna do. Guys, let me know in the comments below what you want for this mission. What should we do? This is your mission. Let me know in the comments what we're gonna do and how we're gonna do it. Oh, by the way, this didn't start off as I planned. Yes, the launch rocket didn't. I was destroyed by the radial rockets. But I thought, oh, by God, let's give her a go. Jebediah's in the cockpit. He's the one who's volunteered to be the pilot for this mission. By the way, yes, one of you guys who said in one of the episodes, can you add a Kerbal namer or name the Kerbals to some of you? Yes, I can, and I will do, actually. So this mission is for you guys. I'm not sure how many Kerbals we're going to have on it. I'm going to build a large ship that we're going to have going to Jewel. You can land on a moon or something like that. So, yeah, your input is required. What is the mission for this Kerbal thingy, Michigi? Now, it doesn't have to be mining. It doesn't have to be a base. It could be a base if you want. Just let me know while I carry on building the Jewel Space Station. Okay, so now we've got that in orbit. Let's get to the comments because I always like reading comments in these videos. Anyway, from Saksham Solanki. Um, sorry for butchering your names again. <laughs> Terrible, these. First, first person to comment. I assume that's what he means. LOL, you won the race. Yeah, Inflatable Tiger, second. In fact, he appeared first, and when I looked at the timings, both of their comments said two minutes. So, I don't know who was first or what. You, Inflatable Tiger, you might have actually been first. I don't know. But anyway, you've got second now. And I always love these internal modules and covering thingy majiggy. By the way, anyone's asking again, this is stock in the game. You can just click a button and you can look inside the modules. Awesome stuff. Just wish you could see the Kerbals floating around inside there. Right. And things don't go to a good start in this. This was actually a launcher I saved as a sub-assembly and it kept on disassembling itself. So I kept, you know, kept on trying to have a look. Okay, so things went wrong. Right now, what I've decided to do here is I went into... Yes, I upgraded to version 1.1.2, which was a patch. And for some reason, it did fix the problem. I'm not sure it's Phantom Forces or what, but... Whew. Problems had to be had. <laughs> no, I don't know what it was. It had problems with version 1.1.1 with using the decoupling method that I had. I used the girders to separate the distance from the outer rockets, from the booster rockets, as we're using here. As we're boosting our way towards Jewel. This is actually the science module. I actually forgot to record the launching of the other modules, which is the habitat modules, I think, and storage modules. Yeah, some fun stuff in them. I think was that? No, that was on the Jewel One mission, yeah. At some point, I'll have to show you that. I didn't record that, so we'll get to that. Anyway, let's get into to some more sensible comments, by the way. From Yaval, 88 fish. Yay, he read my comment. I know my name, username is hard to pronounce. Smiley face with the tongue sticking out. Um, I don't know what should I say. What can I say to that? I'll poke my tongue at you as well. Blech. There you go. Anyway, from Aaron Her Hedricks fourth. Ooh, comment numbering. <laughs> and from Mad Rams Rasmussen. Is that right? I don't know. Do you play flight simulators? 
Yes, I used to. In fact, I even played stuff like uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. I can't remember was it X or what. I can't remember. But also, I uh, played that. I loved playing com flight combat simulators, which was a real, you know, really fun for me. Okay, here we have. You have to note this down. Look, this is the orbit I set up for passing Jewel, and you can notice that the Jewel space station there, around Jewel, it is quite low in the orbit around Jewel, and I'm setting the orbit to be higher. And the idea is that we can set up the orbit and higher catch up to the no the cat the space station under us will catch up because it orbits faster, and then we can set a rendezvous with it easily enough. You think that will work? We'll get into that when the problems happen. <laughs> yes, problems all to be had. And by the way, all this was rushed because I and this is probably going to be out a little bit late, so I'm sorry about that. But never mind. Anyway, while we're setting up all these orbits and transferring ourselves all the way up to the Jewel and correcting orbits and whatnot, from Ab... Abd... <laughs> Bloody hell, he made this username hard to read. I'm sorry if that is your name, by the way. Love what you do, keep on. I learn a lot from what... from you. Can you just please type the names of mods on... You use. Thanks. Yes, I have to remember to do that. Add the mods to the below in the um, description below. Yes, I'll have to do that. And it's a little easier for me because now I've got a CCAN, I can look on that and it'll tell me what mods I've got installed. Excellent. Excellent tool that is. If you want to install mods, use CCAN. And just, if you want to Google it, use CCAN, it's a C K A N and mod ksp search that on google and you should find it awesome stuff anyway from gabe m good video as always <laughs> thanks although sometimes i feel like i'm rushing um uh, especially this one perhaps it's just this one i felt like i was rushing and that's why i feel like i'm rushing them all no i have to do a bit i have to get this the flow of this because i eventually got the flow of my the man series and it was awesome because I was building this asteroid space station, I was building space stations, I was doing a mining system on the man. I have to get used to this, especially with the things I was getting wrong, especially with the game as well. And trying to get all the mods to upgrade to the same version so I could get this to work in version 1.1.2 as well. Yeah, not all the mods are ready yet. <laughs> so thank you anyway, from Gabe M. Um, now from no one here, did you notice the smiley face on at 1446? Oh yes, I, I had a quick look at that. This was the last video when I had to push the capsule to get the Kerbals to re-enter the atmosphere. And the problem with that was... Yeah, I did ran out of fuel to deorbit them. And I deorbited them at the wrong height on Kirby. So they went and they were going to escape Kirby, so I had the Kerbals out to push the capsule to reduce the orbit and hey presto we re-entered the atmosphere curving just narrowly and he almost lost the Kerbal at one point almost ran out of fuel I don't think I recorded that but because it's taking to age it, it took 30 minutes or 25 minutes I think to deorbit that capsule but yeah as it was deorbiting there was a, it looked like a little smiley face as the, you had the heating effects on the bottom of the, on the heat shield so if you want to go back to that, and at time code 1446, if you're interested. As we are getting into orbit around Jewel by here with our... Uh, this is the module I forgot to record the launch on. So you've got a large storage area and a habitat area for the Kerbals. And a lot of RCS fuel, just in case. From Jin... Gedge... Jedge? <laughs> Whatever, sorry. Haha! <laughs> I did also push capsules sometimes because I ran out of fuel. Luckily, the jetpack fuel refuels after boarding. Yeah, that was. I'm not sure if the fuel pack, the jet, the EVA fuel runs out on the capsules after a while or whatever. But yeah, that. I'm not sure if that's cheating or what, but it worked. I'm going to say they had enough jetpack fuel there and they deal with themselves. Oh, yes, this is the problem. Problems start happening. Okay, so I set up a rendezvous maneuver that we're going to use to rendezvous with the uh, space station. 
Jewel Station 1. Oh yes, and the poll said for the name of the space station that we're going to have it as a South... Oh, I forgot the name of it. I'll have to get back to that. Okay, got the name. It's Salfeon Bell Station, which means distant base. And I thought that was awesome name, and I decided to put it out to you guys. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I'll have to look that up. Anyway, that, that we've got out the way. From CSX68 FS15. Thanks for the vid. Have you done a Mars base? Man. Uh, not in real life. <laughs> but no, I've done a, dual la a Duna landings in Kerbal Space Program. I haven't done real solar system mods and all that. It's not because I don't want to. It's because I haven't actually done everything in Kerbal Space Program planets. And I feel like I have to do that before I get on to something a bit more difficult. I wouldn't say it's difficult. I'd say it's about the same. It's just different challenges. I'd have to learn things like the new Delta V and everything. Okay, here is the problem. Now we're approaching the space station. So I've set the... Using the SAS of MechJeb to point at the retrograde of... Of the... Of... Um, Oh, the space station. And you can see the target speed below on the nav ball. 794 meters per second, but we've only got 309 meters per second. At the time, I wasn't concentrating on that. I was just trying to find out where the space station was and get closer as possible. Like this. And then start burning. Bit of a thing as the space station loads up and we ran out of fuel. No balls to it. This is going to be in orbit around Chul in the wrong orbit for a long time. Unless we do a mission to rescue it. It's because it's got uh, docking ports on it and I think we'll do that. But also, we have the same problem with this one. Yes, I misworked out the fuel required. But even though these spacecraft have more Delta V than that, the, the space station we put in a lower orbit. Yes, that's right. These have more Delta V because the space station had a bit more weight to it. And I used the same launchers for all of them. I can get the closer approach and everything, but I cannot get the orbits exactly the same. So I'm going to have to set up something to remedy that. Okay, so with those problems, I'll have to launch a correct mission. But while we're doing that, while I'm sorting that out, I'm realizing the target speed is ridiculously high. Let's get into another comet as we launch the proper mission. Now I'm using exactly the same stuff, same launcher, same science modules and stuff, but there's gonna be something different done with this one. And can you guess where it is? I don't know, you'll have to find out. From anyway, for comments now from Dakoba one one two meow meow, and I'll reply with woof woof capture system yes tree. That was the actual reply I gave to him. From Jake McLaren, you always have great videos. Keep it up. <laughs> Cheers, Jake. I wouldn't say the great videos. I'd say I, I do what I want. I do what I can. I include you guys, which is great fun, by the way, and I read your comments out, which is awesome, something to reply to and everything. Yeah, the launch profile of this using MechJib isn't too good. That's because I limit the speed of the turn, which I might have to remedy. Anyway, I, there's a lot of things I have to get into to relearn for this, the launch systems and everything, before I get comfortable with this. Anyway, as we get, as Mech, as Mech Jeb is getting just into orbit, not me this time. From MPK, from MP Campersand. Is everyone really good at speaking Welsh, though? I'll, I have to say, I know a few people, and there are quite a few people in Wales that can speak Welsh. It's just gone down over the years, I suppose. North Wales, most people speak Welsh. So... And I have a couple of friends who work who can speak fluently Welsh. It's not something that I want to do. I failed Welsh at school. I was absolutely terrible. It wasn't a mandatory course. Well, once you go into GCSEs, which is a British sort of system before you go to high school, I suppose. Or I'm not sure what the other guys around the world have. 
Anyway, this is the burn at the moment towards Jewel. I've used Mech Jeb for all of this. Just to, this is just to prove a point that the mission will work, or is it a failure of the new versions of KSP? I don't know. We'll find out. Anyway, from Connor Crowley. I just noticed that Jewel is getting pretty close to Elo. Maybe you could send a mission from Jewel and establish a permanent base on there for science and mining. Permanent, as it would be too expensive to send Kerbals home like Mars One. Any volunteers? <laughs> uh, yeah, I did notice that Elo was getting closer to Jewel, but the problem was that the timing. By the time I got something out there and enough fuel to transfer Kerbals over, it's going to be a bit of pain. But never mind, the chance may come round again. Next time Elu passes by Jewel, we'll have a fully operational mining outpost or something that we can send Kerbals out to there. It's going to be a bit while though, because there's a lot of infrastructure I have to set up. At the moment, I'm concentrating on the space station around Jewel. Okay, another comment from Piotrek Andrzej. <laughs> Damn, these, I'm terrible at these names, I have to do something with that. From Pyrotrek Andrzej Juski. Andrzej Juski. It's hard to say because you get different um, continents, vowels, and everything after each other, which isn't common in English. So sorry about that. Can you add me as Avos? Oh yeah, this was the guy who was asking, can we add names of Kerbals? Now it said, I wait until we can get update all the mods and everything. And I think there is a Kerbal rename mod. I hadn't done it at this point because I, I was trying to get all the other mods that I normally use updated and everything and make sure everything else worked like the launch failures. All right, this is what I'm doing differently. I'm getting the close approach, closer to Jewel. Not that close, we don't want to impact it. Yeah, so this is the difference. I'm not doing anything else different. It's just going to go into a lower orbit on Jewel before we rendezvous with the space station. Okay, so once I've updated the mods and everything, I will add people's names. So Avos, you're the first volunteer for the Jewel large mission. So let, so let me know what you want to do for that Jewel large mission. I might put, no, I won't put a card there. Just let me know in the comments below. Okay, from Timmy1404, nice video. Which mods do you use? I like the color of Jewel. Yes, Jewel is a lovely green. I'll have to install Scatter and see what, we'll see what difference is to that and the cloud mods, the visual enhancement mods. Yeah, there's a lot of mods I want to install. And as I'm doing 64 bit, that'll be awesome. Anyway, from Blue Mage 6, do astronauts push, push their capsules in real life too? If NASA become cash trapped, I suppose they could do. <laughs> but the, they, in actual real life, they don't have enough EVA fuel in their jetpacks. They have really r r rudimentary jetpacks on their spacesuits. That was just in case, you know, they lose a footing on the space station. They, they have a limited fuel to get back. But they always plan everything so they never have to use them. I don't think they've actually had to use them as an emergency in real life. Well, let's get into a more comment. From Joseph M. <laughs> Lightsaber. Swinging. <laughs> yeah, mad comments on these. From Caleb Graham. What mods do you use for scanning? That's Scansat, by the way. Uh, for scanning the moons and that. Awesome mod, it gives you the maps and the moons, gives you height, gives you resources, and a lot of other things which I can't think of at the moment. Oh yeah, anomaly scanning as well. It gives you the scanning of where the anomalies are, which I'm going to be using and exploring around the moons of Jewel. Now you can see we have a lot more Delta V left, and after sending, setting up a rendezvous, which is only 331 meters per second, you can see that we're you know, it's not using so much fuel up and this is called the all birth effect that you get closer to a planet or the closer you are the faster you're running the more influence you have on reducing or increasing your speed in any direction so it's very efficient so the closer to a gravity well planet or moon or whatever the more efficient your burns will be 
Now let's get into these more comments. I've got more to go because I'm coming closer to the end of the video. From Monkey Taylor, can you help me? The only thing I can do is explode a rocket to get into orbit and I can't even land on a moon. Well, I have to say that tutorial videos, that's how I do mine tutorial videos and there are tutorials in the game have a look at them from Rucher power thanks for all thanks for one of the best ksp tutorial series no problem from illuminati in this game any there in this game are there any well black holes oh, i wish there would be that would be awesome from badly bear brunette thanks for mentioning me in the video no problem and from the last comment, which seems to be the longest as well. Hey, you're right there. I remember you loving the series so far. Looking forward to all the new episodes content. Still haven't watched Papers, Please yet. Yeah, I've started that, if you want to have a look at that. But also, good news. Some real found, after some research, I found graphical problems that I had with Linux. Have a workaround. And he added a command line. Force GL Core. And if you want to have a look at the option, the comments in my last video, I, you know, for Linux users, there's been terrible problems with that, with KSP. Anyway, I've come to the end of the episode. This is all the footage I had for the time being. I had to rush and edit this at this point. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, crank that like button like an engineer. I'm Orbator. Trust me. I'm an engineer and also let me know what you want to do for the dual mission and if you want to add name added let me know in the comments I'll start doing that now we've got 1.1.2 working <laughs>